So a new piece of test equipment. I've never owned one of these. Uh, I ran across this, I think, on uh, AliExpress and uh, didn't know they existed, actually. <laughs> um, I've seen real expensive ones, like out of Germany and stuff, but this is an insulation tester. Uh, it's good up to 2,000 megohms, so 2 gigohms. It's supposed to measure up to 2 gigohms. So is it an insulation tester or just a high, high resistance tester? So I kind of want it as a high resistance tester. I don't really care about insulation. But it will test up to 1,000 volts, so whoa. Uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So it's got this knob. It goes here, it says, uh, uh, well, it's, it's complicated. So, <laughs> so I figured, okay, well, better read the manual. Uh, so, so here's the manual. And, uh, oh, okay, we got, okay. Oh, it's probably bilingual. It's probably a English section of the, no, no, no. <laughs> so anyway, it's all in Chinese. So uh, I just had to figure it out. <laughs> so, so this is what I, this is my take on it. Um, there's these three outputs and I couldn't figure out why there were three and what they stand for E, G, and L. So G might be ground, E might be earth, earth and ground, and load, L? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I put a 9 volt battery in it and it does something. <laughs> so the first thing I thought of was, is it really outputting a thousand volts? So uh, I probed around a bit and I found out that um, the middle one seems to be maybe earth ground. It doesn't seem to like do anything. And the negative side seems to be here and the positive side seems to be here. So opposite of what you would think. Uh, anyway, if you want this to be plus and you want this to be minus, this is the way you put them in. So there you go. That's the way you put them in. So let's test the voltage on this thing. Let's see if it really is a thousand volts. All right. So I'm going to bring out my trusty, uh, my trusty meter that goes up to 6,000 volts, but we'll be able to use the 1200 range. So zero to 1200 volts. Okay. So let's hook it up here. Uh, hook up this one and this one. All right. So we're going to click the first click over here. It says, uh, 250 and we are measuring to a little over 250. Okay. So yeah, about 275. Okay. And we'll go to the 500 and we are measuring 500 and we'll go to a thousand. Wham. We are measuring 940. <laughs> so yeah, 940 volts. Yeah. So I don't want to touch these things. <laughs> I don't know how much current it is, but I'm sure it's not pleasant. Um, so it is what it is. It actually does output uh, you know, a thousand volts, basically. Um, yeah, 940 volts. So yikes. Uh, yeah, yikes. Now the cool thing about it is we get to measure the resistance of the meter. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. So it says that our meter is 24 megohms. Okay. These are megohms. So, so 24 megohms, uh, for the 1200 volt range. So that makes sense. Um, and yeah, the 500 volt range is still 24 meg ohms and the 250 volt range is still 24 meg ohms. And that's because we are not changing this box. This box is on the same scale. So it should be 24 uh, meg ohms, irregardless of how many volts you put into it. Right. Um, so that is pretty cool. All right, so now that we know that it actually outputs uh, dangerous voltages, uh, let's turn it off and let's make some measurements. Let's see if we can measure some measure some resistors. Um, so oh, let me briefly describe what it comes with. It comes with these two leads, uh, which have little alligator clips on them. It also comes with this lead, which is a multimeter lead. So it comes with three things. So I'm assuming that you probably use the black wire for the ground and make it make an earth ground or something like that. And then the two red ones are for testing and one is a, a grabby and one is a touch thing. So I, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to use these and I'm not going to use the earth ground. 
I will just be careful. <laughs> okay, so I have a box here of really high value resistors. Okay, so let's grab one. This one, uh, what is this one? This one claims to be, let's see, that's a good one to keep later. Uh, this one claims to be 100 meg ohms. Okay, 100 meg ohms. So let's test them. Stick them on here. And uh, there's test and stop. And it's, it's a push button. So when it's up, it's in the stop position. So we will go to the 250 volt range. So we're going to be sourcing 250. And it won't do anything until you test the push, when you push the test button. And when there's high voltages here, this red light comes on. So we're measuring high voltages now. And it's measuring 100 mega ohms. It bounces around a bit. Maybe we need a ground attack and a connected. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's measuring correctly at 250 volts. Now, I'm assuming this resistor, I don't know what the, what the voltage rating of this resistor is, but let's go ahead and test it at 500 volts, 100, and 1,000 volts. And the resistor's not shorting out, so there we go. So that all works, 100, 100 mega ohms. Okay, so let's grab another resistor out of the box here. I've got some good values. Uh, here's 400 mega ohms. Well, let's do 400. Yeah, there we go. 400 at 500 volts. And 1,000 volts. 400 mega ohms. Okay, it's doing, uh, it's doing 400 mega ohms. Cool. And I have a, here's 800, 800 mega ohms. Let's try that one. There you go, 800. So it's nice to have a meter that can measure super high. I don't think I have a meter that'll measure these uh, 800 mega ohm resistors, uh, but now I do. I think this is like $15, something like that. Great. Um, yeah. All right, and then the best for last, this one here is a one gig ohm. It's actually marked 1000 mega ohm. So let's see if uh, let's see if we can measure that one. There we go. One thousand mega ohms. Five hundred volts. Thousand volts doesn't matter. Now I don't know why there's two ranges. There's an off in the middle, and then another two fifty. They they. They seem to do the same thing, so I don't know why why th there's two, other than they just needed to repurpose this particular box, and instead of just having nothing, 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 they just duplicated everything, so I'm assuming maybe that's what they did. Um, but yeah, there we go. Let's see here, so this is supposed to go up to two gig ohms. So let's put the, uh, let's see here, let's turn this off. Let's get that 800. So we'll put uh, 1800 mega ohms. Okay, this will be 1800 mega ohms. Let's see if we can do it. We need to kind of like s just set these on here. They can kind of grip each other. They need some gription. Do not look that word up on uh, Urban Dictionary. Okay. Okay. Let's try it out. Wow, there we go. 1800. Yikes. It works. So, do you have a meter that can measure 1800 mega ohms? <laughs> that is really cool. That is really cool. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought of something. <laughs> just thought of something. Hang on. All right, let's measure this. It's a high voltage probe. And uh, I don't know what resistance it has inside, but I bet you it's a lot. So let's hook up one side to here. 
and the other side goes to here. And let's see, let's see what it is. It looks like it is a 373 mega ohm resistor. 370. Does that make sense? 370. This thing says you're supposed to use, let's see, it says it's 15 kV at 40,000 K ohms per volt. So 40,000 K times 15. So that'd be five, six, seven, hmm, five, 15, 30, 40, uh, hmm, I don't know. 100 K ohms per, 100 K ohms per volt. Use the 6 kV range read on the 150 scale. Oh, hmm. well, anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter. I never have a chance to use that thing. Um, but there you go, 370, well, up the voltage to 1,000. Uh, I know this will take 1,000. Yeah, 375 mega ohms. Anyway, that's fun. Uh, it's rare that I get some piece of test equipment that I've never owned. Uh, I have so much stuff, as you might have seen. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty nice little meter. I mean, like I said, I think I paid 15, somewhere between 15 and 17 dollars. Um, and it's pretty nice. It comes with a, uh, a little bumper and uh, it takes a 9 volt battery. Uh, it did not come with a 9 volt battery. I had to supply my own. Um, and it comes with uh, no instructions unless you speak Chinese. I guess I could try to scan these with Google Translate, but uh, I don't think it really helps. I think that's all you need to know. Might be nice to know what the G is for. Um, but anyway, uh, this is a model number uh, BM500A. Guaranteed warranty, 100%.